All right, I'm just going to briefly touch upon frame interpolation. Uh, we do have an existing video that goes way more in depth about what it does and what each of the features do. So I'm just gonna go very, very general over this. Frame rate here, you could either keep your original or you could change your frame rate. One easy thing to do is if you see a frame rate that's not here that you wanna change this to, you could always just select any of these and change them and just say 65 and that'll be your new frame rate. The limitation really comes down to the type of codec. Certain codecs have limitations on how many frames per second is allowed for that codec. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'm just gonna keep the original here. If you wanna do slow motion, those options are available here. Two times, three times, so forth to 16. That is the max for this uh, application. Let's say you see there's a number you don't see here that you want. So I'm gonna just select one of these and I'm gonna say, I want five times, there it is. So I'm gonna say 5.5. It doesn't have to be divisible by five either, 5.75, and there you go. You could put any variable between one and 16, and that should be fine. So I'm gonna put none. If you did have slow motion, there are a couple different options for you. Each of these options give a little description of what each of them do. Again, the video on frame interpolation goes into more details and examples of what each of these do. Duplicate frames, if there's any frames that are similar, it'll replace it. If there are any frames that are doubling up, it'll replace it so that way it doesn't look like it's stuttering or anything like that. However, if you have animation that's on twos, I recommend removing this because that will remove your twos. So for example, if your animation is A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, this is going to make A modified A, B modified B, C modified C, and D modified D. Um, so by removing that, you could keep your animation on two, so it's A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. But if you do want to replace any doubling frames, 10 is usually fine, but the more sensitivity you bring it up, it's going to look for frames that are very similar and this sometimes can be your original source frame so if your original source frame is very very similar to the frame before and after it might try to make an adjustment for that again the point of this is to have a smoother video experience so in most cases leaving it at 10 is more than fine and that concludes our quick summary of frame interpolation please take a look at our other video that goes way more in depth about this